Guys, I just had the greatest day at school. So I'm always catching spiders everywhere I go, and today it just happened to be at school. Whoa, buddy. Come on. You're up. So it was lunchtime, right? And my mate Noah just calls out my name, and I basically knew it was about spiders. So I come over, and he's um, got his hand cupped on the grass. Whoa. Just telling your story. All right, he can chill that. I'm like, oh, dude, what have you got? And he's like, I got this huntsman looking spider. So he lifted his hand up and as soon as I saw it, I knew it was a species of huntsman, but I never seen anything like this before. The markings were all different. So we put him in this container and I brought him home. Now let's rehouse him. This here is gonna be your new home, buddy. New enclosure. Substrate. Bark. Oh no, wait, I'll do that after he's in. Water. Looks like he's cleaning himself up for the move. All right, so enclosure's ready. It's time to move. Let's see how we go. You're up, mate. You're up. Here we go. Oh, little jumpy. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can put the bark in. go safe and sound so now that he's on the side of the enclosure he's drinking all the water drops must have been thirsty so when I first saw this huntsman I thought it was a banded huntsman but when you take a closer look at its abdomen you can see that the design is totally different it's got like a, a black triangle shape or, or a chevron and the legs have brown, black, and gray markings. It's also quite lighter, like got a lighter sort of gray compared to the banded. The banded's got like a dark gray color. If I wanna identify this Huntsman exact, the best way to do that is use this app called Spidentify. And I'll actually show you guys the whole Spidentify app because it's really cool. So I've actually got it laid out right here, live as I'm doing it now. And um, it's got a really cool layout. But if you actually find a spider, where you want to go to is location and you select exactly where you found your spider and you just follow the steps. It's easy. So found it in Queensland. So I'll select Queensland and go next. Which of these best describes the area where you found your spider? So we found it outside on a wall, Noah said. So we'll go down and um, so I guess human structure sort of sets the best example for it so um, and it was outdoors so outdoors and then it comes up with all these options it's really specific like that now in a web on leaves and tree in the pool on a wall right here on a wall select on wall go next now you can actually select the shape of the abdomen so um, if it's an oval shape a teardrop shape, circle, long, triangle, tall, or if it's unusual, you can't actually like identify the actual shape. But we'll just go oval because that's basically what it was. Now you can also select the posture of the spider, how it's sitting. So because it's a huntsman, it sits flat, I'd say. So next, what shape and size are your spider's legs? Because it's a baby spider, I'd probably say quite short. Now the leg width was very thin, so I'll go very short and very thin. Is your spider colourful or dull? Select the colours you can easily see. Alright, so looking here, there's probably about two colours that you can easily see, and I'd say that's grey and black. So two colours is already selected, we'll go black and grey. Alright, now we'll go next. 
um, excluding the spider's legs, do you see any of the markings on your spine? So you can select a few to no markings, lines or stripes, spots or speckles, you know, all this really cool stuff. But I'd say probably like, hmm, patches, chevrons, there we go. V-shaped markings, usually nested in a row at the back of the abdomen. There we go, that's exactly what we need. Go next. Does your spider have any features that stand out, like large eyes, large fangs, long spinnerets, larger than a twenty cent, uh, larger than a twenty cent piece, very hairy body, shiny body, bumps or spikes, large spines or spurs on the legs, or none? <clears throat> so I'd probably say, well, because it's a huntsman, it's quite hairy. So I'd say. Um, large spines or spurs on the legs. I'll select that. Does your spider do any of the following things? It jumps, rears up, runs or dashes quickly, walks quickly but doesn't dash, curls into a ball, hides inside or under something. So when we were playing with him before, he didn't really do much beside run or dash quickly. So I'd probably just say that. So this is the last step. Let's go to the next. Now it comes up with all the identified results. These are the spiders that best fit your description. So, oh, Bark Huntsman. That looks quite similar. Let's test them out. Um, oh, I think, oh, no, no. Yeah, he has more of a black V on the back. No, it's not a Bark Huntsman, but good result, good result. Link spiders, orb weavers, no, definitely Huntsmans. Oh, flat spider looks pretty cool. Mountain Huntsman, uh, no, no, I wouldn't say so. There, there's the Banded Huntsman. Now, the Banded Huntsman does look quite similar, kind of grey and spots and stripes, but no, it hasn't got that same design. Victorian Huntsman. Oh, my gosh. That's definitely it. Oh, my gosh. That's got the exact same V marking. How did a Victorian spider get up here? What? Let's click on it. Okay, so we got the female and male. Very, very set out. Now the male does look pretty much the same as the female, like details wise. But I think it might be a female. Because she's got the same kind of light brown tips on the edge of the legs. Yeah, I think that might be it. Wow, and it, and it gives you the bite information. So if I click on that gives the, all this great information on like the um, the toxicity of the venom. Really, really scientific. I like that. I like that. And it's full of all the information of the spider. Let's read through them. Now it's got the family, the scientific name, that's really, and the common names, and the body size maximum of a female and a male. And I just found out all that information just by using this app. It's a really great app. And I don't just use it for identifying spiders. It's so cool. It's like a little spider encyclopedia. When I'm bored, I can just read tons of information about certain spiders. It's so fascinating. Even if you don't like spiders, it's actually really fun to find out. So if you see a spider in your house, you can identify it. It's really good. I recommend you get it. Spidentify. So the Huntsman was so good throughout the whole episode, I reckon it deserves a little treat. So here you go, buddy.
thanks so much for watching guys now if you want to check out the app link is in the description now that's all from me and my little victorian huntsman here catch you in the next one what does the first b stand for um business i like it business good kevin